students whatever homework is given to you you have to submit it on the very next day between 8 am to 1 pm to the given whatsapp number and it is compulsory to submit your homework as your attendance will be marked on the basis of your submission hello students 11 standard economic subject chapter 5 cost of production and concept of revenue today's topic classification of production cost production cost classified in two terms short run production cost and long run production cost included in short short run production cost fixed cost average fixed cost and variable cost average variable cost fixed cost in short period either production increase decreases or remains zero there is no change in production cost that type of cost is known as fixed cost fixed cost is also known as overhead cost for example permanent staff salary rent of factory buildings house property tax license fee interest on capital premium of insurance etc professor marshall introduced this cost as supplementary cost because the proportion of production is not connected directly with fixed cost in schedule it is shown that production of pen is either 0 or 10 20 30 40 50 with the increase in units of production cost remains the same rupees 100 this cost is fixed this types of cost is known as total fixed cost the production unit changes but cost does not change so it is known as total fixed cost in diagram on x axis output units is measured and on y axis total fixed cost in rupees is shown according to diagram either production is 0 or 10 20 30 40 or 50 production cost is rupees 100 only in the diagram total fixed cost curve is parallel to x axis variable cost variable cost depends on production volume generally the cost which increase with the production and decrease when production decreases and it becomes zero when production is closed that is variable cost if changes in production size it changes the cost in short run the variable cost can be called unstable or prime or direct cost this cost directly connected with the units of production for example price of raw material energy consumption transportation expenditure labor wages taxes on product and sales tax etc when production is zero variable cost is zero but 
as production increases variable cost also increases from the table we can see that till 30 units variable cost is increasing because increasing returns to scale is applicable after 30 units decreasing returns to scale is applicable due to that variable cost is increasing at increasing rate total cost if total production is more then total cost is also more sum of total fixed cost and total variable cost is equal to total cost in formula total cost is equal total fixed cost plus total variable cost in diagram on x axis units is measured and on y axis total variable cost in rupees is measured as production increases from 10 20 30 total variable cost also increases from 80 150 to 10 total variable cost has positive slope from initial points total cost increases as increase in amount of variable cost so total cost curve is total variable cost curve total cost curve is above total variable cost difference between total cost and total variable cost is constant because of which total cost and total variable cost are parallel to each other on x axis production and on y axis cost is shown with the increase in production there is no change in fixed cost but variable cost increases if output is zero then also total fixed cost 100 while total variable cost is equal zero as the production increases total fixed cost remains constant and total variable cost increases due to this total variable cost curve moves upward from left hand side to right hand side and total cost curve is upside and parallel to total variable cost curve in this diagram when Production cost is zero, total variable cost is zero. Production is zero, total fixed cost is OP and variable cost is zero and total cost is OP. Production is OQ1, then total fixed cost is Q1B. Variable cost is Q1C and total cost is Q1A. Production is OQ2 then total fixed cost is Q2F. Variable cost is Q2G and total cost is Q2E. Average fixed cost. Average fixed cost is the cost of per unit of output by dividing total fixed cost of a firm with production unit. In formula, average fixed cost is equal total fixed cost upon total production unit. 
when production increases the total fixed cost is distributed among more units therefore with the increase in unit production average fixed cost decrease and therefore average fixed cost curve is a downward sloping curve in diagram ox x axis units is shown and oy axis average fixed cost in rupees is shown average fixed cost decreases as output increases it means that average fixed cost curve is having left to right upward to downward slope average fixed cost decreases but it never become zero average variable cost average variable cost is the variable cost per unit of output this concept is useful in taking a decision regarding continuing production increasing production or closing down in formula average variable cost is equal total variable cost upon total production for example suppose firm's total variable cost is rupees 150 and a firm produce 20 units of output then average variable cost is equal 150 divided by 20 is equal rupees 7.5 as output increases average variable cost also increases in this schedule initially with the increase in production average variable cost decreases then it become minimum and after that with the increase in production average variable cost also increases in diagram output is shown on x axis and average variable cost is on y axis in the diagram first average variable cost move left to right upward to downward means negative slope curve which indicate that in beginning as output increases average variable cost decreases but after the production of 30 units average variable cost is an increasing trend because in the beginning increasing return to scale and afterward decreasing return to scale low average cost average cost is also known as total average cost average cost is shown per unit cost this is obtained by dividing the total cost by units of production average cost is total of average fixed cost and average variable cost average cost can be obtained by dividing the total cost of production total of fixed cost and variable cost in formula average cost is equal total cost upon total production in schedule as the level of output increases the total cost rises but initially the average cost falls then remains constant 
and subsequently rises. In diagram on x axis output and y axis average cost is shown in the beginning with the increase in output. Initially with an increase in production the average cost decreases then at a particular level of production it is minimum but after that it increases with an increase in production so average cost curve becomes u shaped as average cost decreases after some units of production increase in average variable cost is more in comparison to decreases in average fixed cost and due to the total cost increases and average cost curve becomes u-shaped.